morning. It is a Monday for me, which is not my favorite, but today I think it's going to be a good day. I have a surprise for you guys. I know you guys are going to like it. Today we're going out and stamping a concrete patio, and then we're setting up a pretty large driveway, getting it prepared to pour for tomorrow. All right, I'm going to take the trash out, grab some coffee. Let's get to work. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yeah, it is. Yes. Crazy Monday, though. You busy? No, I know. Just some people didn't know where to look for stuff over oh. the weekend. And oh. So, you know, a couple oh. of the items that should have been filled weren't filled until I got here and dug the box out and got the product. You know? That's why you make the big money. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> morning, Mizzy. How are you? Fine. How are you? Wonderful. Thanks for asking. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It's a little bit after six o'clock. I don't think anybody's gonna be here yet. I'm pretty early. I have a bunch of stuff to get ready. We have a lot of work to get done today. Morning. Morning, Daryl. Morning, boss. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. This was a stupid design. It's just, I told it was late. <laughs> just me, you, and your dad today, I guess. Oh, man. I don't know. That better not be the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you're right. Better not be. All right, we need the stamps. We're using the large ashler. I use these most of the time, believe it or not. These are just the most popular stamps that exist. You guys that stamp concrete know what I'm talking about. Pretty much everybody wants to use these, so we use them all the time. See, Francisco showed up. Told you. Oh no, that's Marcel. That's Marcel. Morning. We'll bring this one too. I don't have any really good texture stamps. I gotta buy some more. Francisco, you were like a good two or one or two minutes late today. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we really have enough time for this right now, Daryl. Okay, so just bring the tools and when there's a break, you can work on it on the job. All right, I think we got everything. Yeah, Stamps, we release. release. We got I'm gonna get gas on the way. Okay. Right. What's that noise? Oh, wow. You hear that? Mm. You hear that? Oh yeah, I do. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Some over here. What the heck? Coming from Bobby's van. What? what is going on? Bobby hasn't been in here for a, two or three months. I know. Yeah. Alarm's going off. That's one of the alarms that uh, Eric got from the subscriber. Is. How do you turn this thing off? Let me unplug it. Man, it's a mess in here. Bobby, don't. don't. Somebody's in there, man. Who's in there? What the? It's Eric. No way. Eric. Eric. What are you doing in here? Oh. Man. I don't know. Overslept. What are you doing in here, bro? This is Bobby's van. Oh, shit. Did you oversleep? Yeah. Yep. Do we start at work two weeks? You're telling me you overslept by two weeks. Oh. <laughs> wow. What day is it? We got to go, man. You oh. got your boots on? Yeah. Uh, Come on, let's go to work, dude. 
He overslept by two weeks. What? Yeah. Wow. All right, so obviously we're kidding around. Eric texted me. When you texted me last week? Yeah, last time? week. Yeah. Last week, Monday, I think it was. And Eric wanted to come back. So Eric's back on the team. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, so like I said, Eric texted me about a week ago, and I had been looking for guys. I had a couple guys, a couple prospects. One was they were both from out of state, which was going to be more of a pain. Uh, but he texted me and, uh, you know, he wanted to come back and I was pretty excited about that, obviously. Uh, Eric already knows where all my tools are. He knows the quality that I expect and uh, he's a good guy. He's a funny guy. He's enjoyable to be around. So glad to have him back. Now let's get to work. Shepard makes time speaking. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I have an 830. Yes, sir. Yeah, seven bag, low chart, air, microfiber. Five inch slump, half percent NCA. Okay. What's the address on this one? Uh, this one is, that's a good question. Let me pull up. All right. Is this going on YouTube then? And you're gonna get, you're gonna edit that out with the big pause? Like you, cause you're confused? Of course I do. You think I want to make myself look dumb? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I edit all the dumb stuff out. Oh, it's like, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching you for that. All right. Concrete's ordered. Concrete's ordered. I'll tell you what. It's going to be really nice having a full team right now. Of course, we can't wait for bugs to come back, but Marcel's here. I got plenty of guys to help right now. Hopefully they all keep showing up and do a good job and stick around for a while. All right, I'll walk back there and show you what we got going on for today. Eric and Marcel I've never met before, but the nice thing about both of those guys, they both get along with everybody. So I know the guys that are here, not gonna really have any problems with each other, which is nice. Huh? I ain't tired, I'm fresh. Gassing her up? Yep. All right. Better top it off. A little confrontation here, so. Yep, better top it off. All right, so this is what we got going on this morning. This patio's all stamped. It's got a thick and perimeter. We're gonna go ahead and stamp the faces of that too. We got mesh in there. Guys are drilling the rods, putting up the plastic. Uh, Marcel's coming back. He's gonna glue the felt on to the foundation there. Shouldn't be too bad. It's about eight and a half yards. Uh, it's a good sized patio, but it's not gigantic. All right, we're waiting for concrete this morning. Guys are in the back continuing to get the patio ready. I'm in the front stringing up one of the sides, so whenever they have free time, they can come up here and they have something to do instead of standing around. When you have a full crew, you got to keep everybody busy as much as possible. Sometimes it's not possible, but you do everything you can to try to keep them working because it gets expensive pretty quick. All right, this side's ready to roll. Guys can set this side all up. I think I'm going to start digging that other side right now. I still got like 20 minutes before concrete. Might as well get that done. Concrete's here, Junior. Are you ready? Yeah. Better drink all the water you can. <laughs> I'm about to retire these boots. I have a new set in my shed. I just haven't broken them out yet, but I'm gonna break them out for tomorrow. Same boots. That brand new. How's it going? Not bad. You got, you, in paradise. You been busy? I'm on nights, so. Oh, you're on nights? Yeah. Oh, man. And days? Yeah. Because it's daytime right now. Hey, talk about easy money. <laughs> yeah, a lot of hours for you. Yeah. All right, I got some number fours. I'm going to put her on the perimeter of the patio. We got thickened edges.
Is all this wire pulled really good? All up there too? Yeah. I'll check the camera. I'll check the camera. All right, pull it all through here. The rod's on the ground. There you go. This is better than when we pour that patio in the wind, eh, Marcel? Yeah. Man. Hey, did anybody tap these faces? Okay. We gotta finish them and stamp them. How much water you put in? None. Oh, you didn't put none? No, no, it came like this. Back up a little bit. Sure you pull that wire by your feet. Yep. Right right by Francisco, it's on the ground too. Other side of the string, Daryl. Come on. Fucking edge. Why did that just shut off? No way. Man, I'm having trouble with this uh, camera. Your battery. No, it's not the battery. It's been dropping all this last week in the wind. It keeps going for a while and then it'll shut off. It'll lose all the footage. How come you're fighting so bad with your dad already? It's only Monday. Oh, he starts it? They didn't have to work together too. I know. I'm going to have to bring you guys in for some counseling. <laughs> right, Eric? Man. Watch out. Eric's back. He'll give you, I'll give you the belt. Be careful. Eric's back. He's got the belt. I'll give it to you. I gave your dad the belt last year, remember? You're going to get it. You better be careful. having camera troubles here the one on my head just turned off this one I think it erased the complete time lapse of us pouring not good it's getting a little stiffer so that's a good sign hopefully this patio won't sit for too long I put a half a percent in but it is pretty chilly today seven bag Uh, go grab like six kickers. There's a boat on there by Marcel, and this side needs a few. Just short ones. It's just a little wobble in the middle. And there's a little wobble about four feet in from Marcel. I want to make sure that's nice and straight. All right, that went down pretty good. Just bowl floating. We'll edge it all up real nice. We got a couple kickers to put on here. Got a couple little wobbles in the form. And then we'll give it some time. And then the guys will go out and they'll finish by hand. They'll finish up against the wall real nice. Slide across this whole thing. Throw the release powder and stamp it out. Should be very easy. Take this and wash it, Daryl. Go 
I'll wash this. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We probably should have put those kickers in beforehand, but it was borderline whether it would hold. But it's all straight now, no big deal. Does it feel good to be out of a basement? Yes. So good. <laughs> Eric was pouring strictly basements. Basements, yeah. Basements and garages and the front stoops. Builder stuff. Yep. Every day, all day long. I couldn't do that. That would drive me nuts. Oh, look, I'm using your uh, bed you gave me. Oh, for your present for your birthday last year? Yeah. My birthday is in like two weeks. <laughs> It's pretty much our one year anniversary of YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. I've been on YouTube for one year, Eric. Oh. Yeah. Boom! Happy All right, I'm gonna keep digging in the front. Just keep, somebody keep an eye on this okay. when it's ready to finish. Don't let it get too hard. You gotta get on when it's a little wet, but not real wet. Cause I'll come right behind you and start stamping then. All right, I'm gonna go put this camera away. This thing is giving me trouble. This is the second Hero 9 that's done the same thing to me. When I was in Atlanta, I was doing an interview with Taylor. Some of you guys will know who I'm talking about. And I lost most of the footage. It did the same thing. It just said SD Air. So it's something with these cameras. They glitch out and you'll lose your footage, which is super disappointing. So if you're going to buy the GoPros, just be aware of that. There's going to come a time where you're probably going to lose footage. These cameras have been around for a long time, many, many years, and they're still glitchy. Daryl, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting that shelter number. Because we're working over there. What are you doing? We're working. No, you're not. Yes, we are. There's not to do right there. And look at you. I'm taking the two minute break. All right, I'm just scraping this edge. I'm getting that gravel out in front of the garage. Guys are going to start setting the forms along this driveway. Daryl's bringing stuff up from the back. Daryl Jr.'s doing not much. You making TikToks? No, not today. Right on. Why? I'm working in the driveway. I'm not even in the road. I'm working in the construction area. Okay, yes, sir. Perfect. Daryl loves beacon lights. He's mad at me. I didn't have it on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set some pins and get some strings up over here on this side. Patio's still wet. Grab me a long pin since you're over there too, Daryl. Yeah. Just one. Nope. Put a pin right here, Daryl. Take this pin oh. out and we'll go a little bit more of an angle there. You guys okay? It's really not that bad. <laughs> yeah. You might sound like him, but he'd have that all set up by now. <laughs> Just putting these pins in for the two brakes. There's a brake here and a brake there. Let's see how this stuff is. Uh, it's getting there. Not quite ready yet. Let's say another 15, 20 minutes. This one can be set. Just shovel that little bit right there. You can put a board here. See? See? See, senor. That string is height, so we'll just nail it up to level with that string then. Right, Daryl? Right. Just say yes. Oh. Just say yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, it's still pretty wet. You want to bring your personal levels here? I got, I got some. You know what I do to levels here, right? Yeah. Your level will look like that one in two weeks. <laughs> I'll be striking off with it the first day. <laughs> you know I will. Yeah. I always grab them levels. No, t-shirts. We'll make Daryl Jr. t-shirts. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, and then I'll give you some of the profits. <laughs> Trying to sell like two or three million of them? Oh, man. That would be great. I'd be loaded. I'd be loaded. I'd be loaded. I'd be 
exit the home. Yep. Or you could just sit here and lean against the truck. You won't even have to do anything. <laughs> Other way. Other way? Yeah, you don't think I know how to put way. the battery in? Fuck, for you put this in the wrong way. <laughs> he said you're putting the battery in the wrong way. Fuck, you put the battery in the wrong way. Wow. You need half and I need half. Half? You want half? Yeah. I have to put all the work in. I got to get them printed. I got to work with the designer. I got to figure all that out. I got to put it on the site. And all you got to do is just exist. <laughs> and you want half the profits? Come on. 60-40. Wow. All right, we'll do 60-40. Hey, hey, look. Look, everybody's busy setting forms up there. <laughs> and look at your dad. Just look at your dad. <laughs> Daryl, grab the screws and the screw gun. The short screws. All right, guys are jumping on. I'm gonna keep working in the front for just a few minutes. Give them a little bit of time to get ahead of me. Your mag is really rough compared to his, dude. Jump back up there and smooth it out again. You're gonna see that after I'm done stamping. See how his is really shiny and smooth and yours is still kind of rough? Once I wash it, you'll see that in the stamp. So I'm just throwing the release powder right now. Gonna get on with the stamps in just a few minutes. I like to throw a little bit of release on the stamps too before you start. So the nice thing is we already have a 45 degree angle off this corner. So I'll line the stamps up with that and away we go. If you ever put one of these mats down wrong you're pretty much done you can never get the marks back out there's one time i put one down wrong on accident and i actually took a grinder and i ground out a whole stamps worth and then i mixed up color hardener and i filled it back in and re-stamped it. it turned out all right but that's a big no-no big no-no that is looking really nice Cold and windy out here in Wisconsin again. We're almost to May and we've literally had two nice days. One was yesterday. Yesterday was real nice. No, I'm sorry. Saturday was real nice. Yesterday was rain. This is gonna go of course it is. It's going to look very good. 20 pounds, 25 pounds. You think I'm 220? Yeah. Thank you. 310. Really? Yes. Yeah, I was 310. I just lost a little weight though. I'm on my way back down. Watch him be like Sally, that, baby. H. Oh, Sally. <laughs> hey, make sure there's no mud on these mats at all when you hand them to me, man. Mud is a big no no on the slab. When you put these mats down, you got to make sure they're tight. So you use your foot and you kick them together. Just like that, make sure all your seams are tight together or there'll be gaps you'll get off and it'll look terrible. Right, Marcel? Yeah. The secret to stamping. One of the many secrets of stamping.
Where's Junior? I told him to stand back here while we were stamping just so he could make me laugh. And he's nowhere to be found. He's sitting in the truck. He can at least stand here. Daryl, you can't at least come back here and make me smile while I'm stamping? You just sit in the truck? Come on, dude. That's why I pay you the big bucks to stand around. That's your job is to make me happy. That's really pretty much your only job. Okay. <laughs> it Marcel's finishing up over there pattern turned out really really good it's very very few touch-ups on this patio I'm just gonna finish up these faces that come behind me with the texture skin I don't know where the landscaper is going to grade up to, but I'm pretty sure some of this is going to be exposed because they have a pretty good hill back here. I didn't ask. I just figured I'd do it. That way they have the flexibility to do whatever they want. I got plenty of money for this job. It's not an issue. So now I'll take this roller and I'll roll a line in there. It makes it look like there's an inch and a half piece of stone actually setting on. Otherwise it just looks like, I don't know what it looks like, it looks fake. So I'll just take this and follow the chalk line all the way around the patio. And then I'll take these lines from the top and I'll carry them down to that mark, just like that. All right, that looks pretty good. That's what I was talking about. We just roll a line in there so it looks like there's stones placed on top. 11 after one, patio's all done. We just have a few boards left to set on the driveway. We're gonna start grading here shortly. Everything's going real good. Everything going fine? Yep. Okay. Eric, good? All right. Well, you don't need to know everything. Uh, I'm not talking to you. Guys, guys. We've, <laughs> we've only been working two weeks and you guys are fighting like cats and dogs. Ah. You mean to see what can do for a so like, what can do for a I can create the driveway today and do it tomorrow. Carol, it's only 1.15. Of course we're going to grade it today. Why do you want to go home so early? Well, I'm just asking though. Of course we're going to grade it. We got to get it 100% ready. We got concrete in the morning. I think if I left you in charge, I would go broke. You would not. Oh, yes. I'm leaving. You guys can grade this on your own. Right. You got Daryl. Oh, no, you're, you're way better than Daryl. Hell no. This whole floor. Daryl Jr. is calling me. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. So, are you going to use the entire pile of gravel here from time away? Why do you ask? Because <coughs> there's not going to use the entire pile. I got to set up the bus by the map over here. Oh, the wire mesh? I hung, I hung up on him. Yeah, I hung up on you! He's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hung up on you! We're going to have to, like, lift it up. He's still... <laughs> <laughs> Marcel's thinking today, why do they come back? It's cold out here now. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's going to be cold. The whole Whoa. Easy, Eric. You got to remember, we're victory over here. Yeah, I forgot. Wow. This isn't your old job. <laughs> I got to beep everything out. <laughs> Almost done. Just got to grade it. Very easy day again. 
Daryl's in the Bobcat. I know I'm kicking him out in about two seconds. Are you excited to have a driveway? Tell me the truth. I'm so excited. I never thought I could get so excited about concrete. All right, Daryl's trying to get the compactor fixed. I told one of them, I told my dad or myself, get the back over here already. I got to do everything myself. You know? I shouldn't have to. I'm gonna put as much of this as I can on the truck, dump it today, and then tomorrow we'll finish the rest off. So that's not all gonna fit. There's a lot there. It's like a load and a half. I think he had it on its side for too long and now it's it's locked up. He had it on its side too long. Oil went in. Oil went into the cylinder. They're just messing with this thing. The it's locked up tight. Not really. Because if it don't run in the morning, then we're going to have a big problem. It's going to run. <sighs> That's my concern. Because if we can't compact this, concrete's on the way, then we're going to we're gonna compact it by hand the whole driveway. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. And we'll just make Eric do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, what'd you think of today? Pretty easy day. Chilly, but... No, no major issues at all. All right. Done. Style. Yes. Uh, I guess you can go. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Yep, 6.30 right, tomorrow. All right, brother. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, Adios, Eric. A little rusty for today, you know, but really? I'll give you a one-day grace period. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are done for the day. Driveway's all set up. Tomorrow morning, I'll come back here. I'll put a couple saw cuts in this for control joints. I'll rinse this all down. Patio went really good. It's pretty easy when it's cool out. You're never really in danger of it getting away, even on a good sized patio like this. So no big deal there. I'm real happy with the color of that step that we added on. It's real close to the color of the first step. You can hardly tell that's an add-on, which is a really good thing. So we're done in the back. Just got to do the saw cuts, wash and seal back there. That's all done. You guys saw the driveway's all set up. It's ready to pour. I'm guessing it's probably about 40 yards. Uh, we had problems with the compactor, so we're going to have to compact in the morning. But everything is pretty much ready to go. We'll put some felt and we'll dowel in like we always do. We'll dowel into that sidewalk. And we're going to pour... Uh, a little bit more than half for the first pour and then we'll finish off the rest in the afternoon so we're all set my face is probably covered with release and dirty i really don't care but we're all ready to pour for tomorrow it's nice to have eric back and have a full team so i'll see you guys right back here tomorrow morning adios hi 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 dad how was your day very easy.